Hey boys, it's Harm Nan. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 fastest accelerating cars in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now some of these cars are going to be really good off the line, some of these cars are going to be really bad off the line, but gain a ton of acceleration once the vehicle is already moving. It should be a pretty interesting list. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. I'm going for 300,000 this year. Leave a like if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started with number 10. At number 10, we have the Panaud Le Carousse, coming in at $1,990,000. Now this thing is rear wheel drive only, however it is electric, so of course you already know it's going to accelerate like crazy, up to a little bit of a lower top speed. And despite it being rear wheel drive, it actually accelerates really well even off the line, so that's really cool. Now this thing also has an HSW upgrade, which means it can go even faster than you would already expect it to, and it has a much higher top speed. And in fact, it's actually one of the best sports cars in the entire game for racing with HSW on it. It's definitely better at lower speeds. It's definitely not going to have a super crazy high top speed to accelerate up to. But for going from like zero to about 120, 125, something like that, this car is pretty good. And especially considering it is rear wheel drive exclusively. Next up at number nine, we have the Ocelot Pariah coming in at $1,420,000. The Pariah is rear wheel drive, meaning that it gets a really, really bad launch. In fact, it's actually one of the slower cars off the line just due to how much power it actually has. However, once it begins moving, it does not stop. This thing puts power down like crazy after second gear, and due to its really high top speed, it can reel in cars that are a lot faster off the line and that generally have better low end acceleration. The Pariah will kill them in a long enough race. For example, just over the length of the airport, the Pariah can reel in a Grotti Itali GTO and a Grotti Itali RSX, both of which are really fast accelerating cars and both of which are all-wheel drive. Really, really impressive vehicle. The Ocelot Pariah is super good. Next up at number 8, we have the Benefactor Krieger coming in at $2,875,000. The Krieger is kind of opposite to the first two cars that we've gone over. It's all-wheel drive, meaning that it gets an insane launch off the line, and it accelerates up to a relatively high top speed of about 129-130 miles per hour, on PC at least. Unfortunately, no HSW upgrades for this vehicle, so it's not going to be as fast as some of the vehicles ahead of it on this list, but the Krieger definitely does have very good off the line performance and acceleration up to about 120. Those last few miles per hour getting to its top speed are going to be a little bit on the slower side, but until then, this thing is very, very quick. Definitely has extremely good acceleration. The Krieger is just generally an awesome car, really good for racing in general, but still pretty good on the drag strip. Next up at number seven, we have the Vapid Dominator ASP coming in at $1,331,250 to $1,775,000. Now, of course, the Dominator ASP is rear wheel drive only. However, this thing does have a few tricks. Being that it is a muscle car, you can, of course, do a wheelie with it, which will give you a huge traction bonus. On top of this, if you can hit a wheelie correctly with the Dominator ASP, you can absolutely take off and you probably will not be caught short of anything like the Vigilante, for example. It's that quick and due to the wheelie giving it extra grip off the line, it can really put the power down. However, the Dominator ASP is also really interesting because it has a stance mode and if you stance the Dominator ASP, it accelerates way, way quicker once you hit third gear. Unfortunately, if it's stance right off the line, you're not going to get a whole lot of grip, but you can of course stance it later in a race, or you can do a wheelie still while it's stanced and then have great acceleration once the wheelie ends. You're just going to have a little bit less traction. Overall, the Dominator ASP, definitely a very hard accelerating vehicle. Definitely a good one to pick up if you don't have it already. Next up at number six, we have another muscle car. This is of course the Declassi Vigoro ZX with HSW coming in at $1,965,000 plus an additional plus an additional $385,000 for HSW upgrades on this car. Now again, with this, with a correctly done wheelie, this vehicle will absolutely take off. However, even without a wheelie, after the wheel stops spinning through first and second gear, and maybe even a little bit into third, this thing actually accelerates like crazy, and a large part of that is due to its very high top speed of about 160 miles per hour, which is crazy. This thing is super fast. Of course, this is exclusive to the new gen 
console version of Grand Theft Auto Online on the PS5 and the Xbox Series S and X, but this thing is insane. Going down the highway with this thing, you'll really start to see the acceleration and just how good it is. It's crazy, after third gear, like once you hit third, you're gonna be moving with the Vigoro ZX in not much time at all. This thing accelerates like crazy. If it was all wheel drive and could put the power down a little bit better, it would be absolutely nuts. Next up at number five, we have the Pagasi Torero XO, coming in at $2,890,000. This is probably one of the fastest accelerating cars on last gen, meaning Xbox One, PS4, and of course PC, which is somehow last gen. The Torero XO is all wheel drive, and it has a high top speed in the 130 mile per hour range, and it gets there very, very quick. The Torero XO accelerates like crazy. Now, unfortunately, that's the only thing the Torero does well because it has no downforce, so it can't really turn. So at least it's fast in a straight line that kind of makes up for it, in my opinion, at least. It's also a great looking car. Overall, it's just insanely good. That's it for the Torero XO. And number four, we have the Pegasi weaponized Ignis with HSW coming in at $4,250,000 plus about $500,000 for the HSW upgrade for it. The HSW upgrade for the weaponized Ignis makes it absolutely crazy. Of course, the Ignis is all wheel drive to begin with, but then with HSW, you can make it even faster. This thing goes so crazy in a straight line. It's got a top speed in the 140s, maybe even close to 150, which is insane to think about and it gets there very quick. It's all wheel drive, so of course it launches hard off the line, but it doesn't stop accelerating until it hits its top speed. It is very, very fast. Next up at number three, we have a car that's available on all platforms, and it is of course the Ocelot Virtue, coming in at $2,235,000 if you have the trade price, or $2,980,000, or free if you complete the first and last dose missions from the Drug Wars DLC. The Virtue is pretty much a cheat code on any platform. I don't think any vehicle gets up to its top speed quite like the Virtue does, at least on the last gen platforms, this thing is pretty damn crazy. You can beat almost any other car in the entire game on last gen. The only things that can kind of hold a candle to the Ocelot Virtue are HSW vehicles and vehicles with rocket boosts. But this thing is crazy, especially considering that it's free. You can't really go wrong with an Ocelot Virtue. It is an absolutely insane vehicle. It's honestly pretty OP. And being that it also has Imani tech, meaning that you can put a missile lock on jammer on it as well as armor plating and that it's electric so it can take extra damage from explosives. You start to see how OP the Virtue really is. It's a crazy ass car. Definitely gotta get one if you don't have one yet, somehow. And at number two, we have the Coil Cyclone 2 with HSW coming in at $2,250,000 plus $475,000 for the HSW upgrade. The Coil Cyclone 2 is the only electric vehicle that can hold a candle to the Ocelot Virtue, and it accelerates just as hard, but it has a much higher top speed, meaning that you can go a lot further, a lot faster with the Coil Cyclone 2. The Cyclone 2 is absolutely crazy in a straight line. However, at least the Ocelot Virtue can turn because the Coil Cyclone 2 cannot. It absolutely sucks in the corners. So that is definitely something to keep in mind with the Cyclone 2. It's really good in a straight line, but that's pretty much where the Coil Cyclone 2's abilities end. It's unfortunately very bad, especially once you put HSW on it. It just, it has too much power going to the front wheels and you cannot turn with this thing, especially while accelerating like at all, even like quarter throttle, too much for the Coil Cyclone too, unfortunately, but still really good car, just not for turning, just only in a straight line. And at number one, we have the Grotti Vigilante coming in at $3,750,000. The Vigilante is the fastest accelerating vehicle in the entire game on all platforms because it has a rocket boost and it shoots it up to its top speed or very near at least very quickly. You basically press the boost button and you are going as fast as humanly possible with the Vigilante. It's crazy. Now I know rocket cars are kind of cheap and they kind of shouldn't really count for a fastest accelerating vehicles list, but like it's so fast and the Vigilante is kind of useful as well because it does have front mounted machine guns, as well as lock-on missiles, which are very aggressive tracking, by the way. So the Vigilante, it really is not a bad vehicle, and it does have one of the highest top speeds on last-gen platforms because of that rocket boost. It is a crazy vehicle, 
definitely very fast when it comes to acceleration, that's for sure. You could kind of sub in any other rocket vehicle here like the Toreador or even the Scramjet, but the Vigilante is just the fastest out of them all. So that's why I decided to put it at number one. Anyway guys, there you have it. That's my list for the top 10 fastest accelerating cars in Grand Theft Auto Online. I hope you enjoyed this list. If you did, a like is of course appreciated, if not dislike. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Comment to 7 if you made it to the end of the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Peace.